Hi it's Heidi, welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing this, okay? It's an experiment. It completes my experiment and it's from Louisa Heinz. And what she originally did was it's to do with an alternative to um gel press. Okay, so it's just like an alternative to gel press. Gel press is I know they're very expensive to think, but so are the oxides. <laughs> so it's um Depends what you what you've got, doesn't it? But you can use normal ink pads. I'm sure you could. I mean, I've used some of this is ink I used on here because that's what I had. Okay, but I've used a lot of stencils. Um, the experiment that I've completed is how to use these. Okay, in an effective way with that. Whatever I did, I can't remember on the video. But this is another way. This is an amazing way you can use these. That's the one I did recently. That's the one I did the other day, especially for this video, actually. Yeah. So there we go. And I thought, wow, 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 wow. What an amazing thing. I do show you some other papers I've done as well. Um, so I do hope you'd like to and find out how to get this effect. And it looks, I think that looks great. Okay, very um arty doesn't it so it's like the papers you can use every day like kind of so you can um punch little shapes out and things like that right then so if you'd like to join me today give me a thumbs up thank you so much and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and let's go okay so i've got a selection of stuff here right <laughs> i've got some reinkers and things like that reinkers um i've got things like this as well the ink which are you, it's supposed to be oxide. Guess what? I've got the only oxides I've got really are these. So, oh, is that oxide? That is as well. That's I've got a walnut stain, which is good. I did a load of stuff the other day, and I've got a load of stencil and embossing, one embossing folder. And if you remember, this is why I'm doing this now because it's like the completion of the experiment I did with these when these didn't work. When I use my oxide sprays, well, I know how to do it now because Louisa Heinzel did um, a wonderful thing. I found it. I found a video because I was looking for grungy. Okay, I was looking for grungy stuff and I thought, oh, Louisa, you've done a magnificent job of completing my experiment. So, let me show you what she used. Okay, I haven't got the packet. <laughs> I had the packet the other day. Where did I put it? She showed the exact one I have. It's photo paper, okay? So this isn't the shiny stuff. This is the matte, you know, the stuff where it feels like normal paper almost, but just a bit smoother. So that sort of, um, it says PPD on the, PPD on the package. And I remember that. Um, yeah, but I don't know where I've put it. <laughs> but anyway, that's the thing you use and that's what you need because it some, some, does an amazing thing that we need. Okay, and I found all my, this is, did I use these? Now, I think I've made these recently. Oh, yeah, that's one I made on the other day when I was trying the thing out, and that as well. So I've got things like that, which is the which is the point of what I did. I've just had to move that over there, so I hope I remember where it is. You've also got things like lace. Uh, and there's, um, here's all my old ones I've tried on the other video. I've got my big one that I tried somewhere. I tried on my last video somewhere. Um, Kim got butterfly a lot. Uh, star and um, whatever. The, oh, an H. That was an H. Um, the hazy, yeah. And that. So I mean, this you, you have to. We need possibly is to hold it down. Is something like this, or or and or. A brayer, oh you don't, you just can roll it over the top or press it down. Yeah, things like that, so yeah. Right then, I've made the, this very dirty already. Now, what you need is a spray bottle. You need to make this very wet, okay, yeah. So lightly wet, even wetter than when you're using watercolour paper. I have got it on, haven't I? I'm not talking to myself, well I am talking to myself, but... Hopefully by this comes out, you'll be listening. <laughs> right, so spray it on, and you have to keep spraying the water. Oh, that's another thing you'll need. So I forgot to get some kitchen towels. Yeah, so I got some kitchen towel. Yay! Let's have something from here. 
Oh, paper does it good. It's a bit, it's a bit. Uh, let's try frayed burlap. Okay, it don't matter what you use. Um. Oh yeah, that's what she did first. Yeah. So perhaps a good thing to do. I don't know. I've got nowhere to put this, so I can put some stuff on it. But let's put some colours because she put some. You put colours on it and all sorts of so. Yeah, it's just actually. Oh, I don't seem to be doing it very well, but yeah. don't put water back. Uh, yes, yeah, she's very, very. I think about putting water on that, so don't put water on those. I'll use a nice purple. Don't put water on your oxide um, pads. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I don't put I don't put really put them on mine, so I feel okay about that then. <laughs> right, so let's put some of this down, okay, don't matter what you do. I haven't got a big bit like uh, Louisa had. Okay, so I'm going to just roll that on. Just to see if it works. Yeah, right, so now, 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 this is the thing. Looks very um smudgy but that will stay like that because this is now waterproof okay that is now waterproof that's what that's what the point of this is that's amazing okay so i'm going to try one of my little thingies now it's one i made the other day let's have a look okay i'm going to use I've got all sorts of things I can use. That's so I've got that tattered rose thing, yeah. So this is actually ink. So you'd need something like oxide, really. But I haven't got any oxide. I'm not going to wait. I thought I'm not going to wait and do it because I want to get it done. And what you do, uh, if you've got re or something like that, you get the end and start doing this. It work okay, but uh, the re are better. Oxide re -inkers. I've ordered a forest moss one, but it's going to take <laughs> it's going to take forever to come. Okay, All right. So I'll put I'll put it here. Uh, we don't spray it because it doesn't matter if you spray that because that will not smudge. Now that's done. That's finished. That will not smudge. Okay. Yeah. And you roll it, etc. You can roll it and all sorts, yeah, you know, and press it down and that. And you can, I tell you what she did as well, and I thought to this, I thought, well, perhaps she could and shut, and then I watched the video again and she was doing that. So you can mop, you can mop it through. Yeah, there we go. So you get all these sort of effects. Yeah, you don't put it all over because if you put it all over, it just floods it. You just put it and it all will, will travel along your lines. Okay, and I'll tell you what's a brilliant, brilliant. If you've got a, um, one of these um, boss, embossing folders and you've got some re -ink, um, inking stuff. Now, which is the one with that? That's the one with the. Yeah. We can do, but either side does it fine, so it doesn't really matter, but. Yeah, so you go like this, yeah, so you put a bit of this on, yeah, and it'll, it'll, when it goes down, it'll follow the pattern. Okay, like that, and I, and I sometimes do this as well, you know. I mean, it does, it does work, yeah. And then you can, what you do then is spray, oh, I got, I've got it on, I'm, where's me, oh, where's me spray, it's right here. Alright, so you can... Shove it on like that, yeah. All right, so, and then that down there. Yeah, when you do the re inkers, I think she's suggesting leaving it a bit longer. Okay, yeah, because Louisa, she's like a little expert, isn't she? Yeah, I was looking at some of them, the other ones, I thought, oh, they're the experts, they are. Gives you lots of tips, and that's an amazing tip with the. Um, Photo paper that you know, if you've got photo because I suggested photo paper to people to use with the printer, 
So if you bought some off that idea, <laughs> there you go. Yeah, when, when I said that, you're laughing really. Yeah. So take notice of what I say. It might be useful in the future, even if it didn't now. Let's see what I mean. It's amazing, isn't it? That is, yeah. See if I can just get it a bit more. Oh dear. So let me just take that off again, okay. It won't, even if I've put that on, it won't, because uh, I've got the water off. So it won't, yeah, you can re-wet and everything. Yeah, and then I've got all these colours here, probably from the other day, actually, when I used it from the other day when I put some colours on. I uh, put all sorts of colours on. I'll tell you what's good, um, old paper, let's put some... Let's put some old paper on, on directly. I can't remember if you did this, but I'm going to do it. I can't remember how. Was it like this? I can't remember. But anyway, I'm doing it like this. Plenty of that. I'm going to move back again. Okay, now I'm going to spray this. And you can do layers and everything, so don't uh, don't think you have to leave it like that. You can do layers. I'm going to put it on top of there, okay, as well. And again, prayer it. I think, I think it's old paper. I think it turns like into a bluish, which is probably what, I don't know if that's it. Okay, and that, I'll lift that up. Get, yeah, it's got, it's got yellows and blues on it. It's amazing, isn't it? Oh, mm. What should we use this one with? Let's try shabby shutters. That's ink. This is all ink. Don't know why I did ink. Got ink. So I've got inks in that, but <laughs> I don't know. This is when I was first get, collecting distressed stuff because I didn't know anything about it. I've only only bought some cheap things before. Right. Okay. Let's get some of this on here. Okay, this is ink, but it, it, it's okay. I mean, if you've only got inks as well, yeah, you're with me. <laughs> Unless you've got some oxide pads. I'm going to put it here somewhere. Okay, like that. And then you, what you can do is put... No idea how it's going to react. Put something on top of it. It's not going to be... Because that's going to be quite close to that, isn't it? So I thought I'll put that on top. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And then you can leave it for a minute, okay, because it might need leaving. And then you can do something else while you're waiting for it. I've got some, I tell you what, I've got some really nice, a really nice stencil. Let's see if I can find the effect it did. Just a minute. I don't know where they all are. I've got more than this, but that's the one I've got. I don't know where that is. Can't find it. It's somewhere around. I had it the other day and of course I've, I've lost it. Let me show you some more examples of stuff. Um, I've done some picket fence over the top of that because that looks so dark. So that's ink though. It's not uh, oxides. And again this. Have I got that? Oh yeah, there's a leaf on there. And a, you know, the, a lot of these are stencils and that's the um, embossing folder. Yeah. Oh, that's one out with the, that's a liney one. I don't know where that is. That's another one that's missing. Um, there's that thing I like, and there's that effect as well. So that's my own stencil. That's what I did the other day. Left that for a while now. So let's see how it is. I did that bit of. Oh, I thought it'd be good to tell you why because it looks so. So neat, I think, and then I wanted to I wanted to include it in this. Oh, Peacock feathers, yeah. Not use this one, but let's use it on here. No, no, no. See, this is what I did before. This is what I did. This is why I've had to redo this. Ex had to find out how to do the experiment. Right, okay, so I know it's probably got some colour down, but you need to spray it first. It is slightly wet. I have to put it down again. I don't think I'll be able to get it in that position now. Uh, sort of like that one. So that'll do, won't it? And then I can put my brush straight on top of there because that's quite raised. 
Yeah, so this is uh, the experiment I did when I did made the glue gun. Um, stencils. Yeah, and a lot of it is just getting rid of that water. Yeah, you can even see some of the detail in there, can't you? Yeah. So. Yeah, you can make a pattern if you like, but obviously I'm just, I'm just <laughs> completely um, going anywhere. That's one from previously. Let's try some old uh, I mean espresso. So if I'd known to make, use photo paper and made it wet on that day, when I do this, I should have known that, shouldn't I? Because oxide does make good effects when it's wet. But I didn't, so I just carried on looking, you know, had, having a very enthusiastic experiment face on sort of thing. Right, and then you need something to flatten it. I mean, you can use these if you want. If you haven't got a brayer, that. Press it down like this. If you're using um, inks, um, not inks, the oxide. Um, if you're using, where's the oxide gone? If you're using these, then you leave it for a bit like that one. I did suggest to her, I don't know if she's seen it, I did suggest to her using um, glue gun stencils because she says, have you got any other suggestions? And I thought, of that, oh, well, let's do this. And I thought of that. So, uh, oh, there's another thing that she did as well that was amazing. Right, you can get lace, right? So she had some flowers and that's that's the picture that she's got on the, on the actual one. Some flowers and it looks amazing. But I've only got things like this. Yeah, that's... Uh, mm. So... <laughs> I'm going to do some brightly coloured one because, um, yeah, yeah, so remember do not spray your oxides with uh, water, you know, even if they don't, if you don't, if they're not working, get some re -inker. yeah, I mean, you can spray ink, I think, you can spray the ink ones with water and that works, you know, as far as I know, I mean, I don't know, actually. <laughs> Right, so let's do this in this uh, corner, yes, because I was thinking that um, paper out paste pan, post pan tends to spray them with water, don't you? To re ink them. But uh, Louise was saying, don't do not. Well, suggesting, I didn't think she actually said it, do not um, put any water on your oxides. Right, I'm going to put this there. Okay, and I'm going to get one of the where's those things? Oh dear. Get one of these. Okay, and then put that there. Yeah, so this is a quite exciting one. Yeah. And I've only used this the, the pad, so that might it might do it straight away. Uh, if you need to leave it. Okay. Yes. Oh, where is it? Yeah, so that's done some details on there. So you will like that, you people who like lace. I love this. There you go, lacy bits. Move back to improve focus, it says. Right, so there, that's that. Okay, so that's amazing, isn't it? So you can see that really clearly. Oh, there it is, right. So you've got things like stitching. Okay, so I've got this on paper. That I'm, yeah, you can use that in a journal now. Look at the step. Look at that. Look at how amazing that is. I can't remember. I don't know. I just put... It's like she used ruffles and there's like zigzag stitching and it was really clear. This will come up clear, but I'm not sure how um, clear it will be. Let's use 
this one. This is express, espresso, and I must remember to put the um, water on first. Yeah, so I'm using the flowery bit of that. Okay. Oh, that's going to be amazing, isn't it? <laughs> Grunginess. Oh, we got in. We're in shot here, aren't we? Yeah. Be careful, we don't get any water on those. Yeah, there's a very important reason. I don't know what it is, but I assume it ruins them. That must be what it is. Right, okay. And then you put that there. I may have put some on mine in the past, you know, but... And I always thought to myself, I need a re <laughs> Yeah, We all know it's expensive, and it's very expensive. I mean, it is if in the UK, then to cost £9-odd, oh, and you have to send for them. Okay, mm -mm, there you go, hey, that's it, look, you've got that pretty pattern on there, don't forget to move back to improve focus, <laughs> and then of course you've got this on here, and look at the stitches, what's that other one? Oh, it's where I started pulling the machine along too fast, that's why that's there, I wonder why that was that, that's that bit there. Uh, can you see those? Can you see how amazing they are? Yeah. So I've got bits to fill in. I mean, that's that's a really pretty thing, but it, it looks bad, doesn't it? Um, let's see if there's anything. There's other things. You can try loads of things. I don't know if that would work. This is uh, cheesecloth. Right, so let's try uh, forest moss on this cheesecloth. I have no idea what it's going to be like. I've not tried it, but I just saw that and I thought I'll have a look see if we can get anything on here if you can yeah you can see that can you? yeah so yeah you need to make it it's probably spread at first For, i mean louisa said this is her favorite color so does it do something special that's just thinking yeah i've sent for a reinker for this because this is one of my older ones as well yeah i've had about three years without reinking. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I started getting things about three years ago, more, a little bit more, yeah. Not 2020 area. Yeah. Um, where's the... Right, so I've got this one. Let's get that. I don't know when it's coming. Just says my package is out for delivery, yay. <laughs> Let's get that off there. Okay, I don't know what it's going to be like, but it's it might be just flat. Oh no, as it's got a bit of oh oh ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. <laughs> that you can see. Oh, can you see that? It's made an amazing little. So just it's worth trying these things. It's made an amazing little. Uh, um, an uneven uh, edge, an uneven pattern, and it's really it's done different colours. Yeah, it might be because it's uh, forest moss. It that might be the reason. That might be why she likes it because it does that. Yeah, it's gone yellow, brown, uh, yellows and brown. Yeah, and it's yeah, so it's gone dark brown. Wow. Yeah, I'd imagine to make forest moss, they'd need to have some sort of reddish colour. Um, I don't know where to put it, see if it'll go. Yeah, second generation, that's one you can do, yeah. Sec it's called second generation, she calls it. I'm just going straight on like that, see if that what happens. So you can have a go at printing it again. And yes, it's done. It's because the threads are... Um, pull in different ways as well that's made an effect yeah brilliant yeah so i want a bit more of that peacock feathers i love that let's what, see what we can do with that let's get some what about one of those that's a lot i've only got don't forget i've only got these um but if you've got reinkers they are work work amazing okay they're uh, probably the best, like I did with the. Okay, it's a nice big bit somewhere. 
I want to do it across two patterns right here. That's something I don't want. To, oh, actually, I don't want it to get that edge. I don't know if you'd be able to do that too much there. Probably spread too much. So it doesn't get that edge. I don't know. I've, I probably have boos laughing at me again. Of course it will, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. We'll see what we can do. Right, so I'm going to put that across here, across my, there, joining into that. Yeah. Let's do that. Because sometimes it's like the end in midair. We don't want that, do we? Yeah, so let's put it on there like that and then get a thing. And you don't have to leave it because it's not a um, re -inker. Okay, we'll do that. We'll get enthusiastic about rubbing that. And then, <laughs> yeah, there we go. I don't know how, how that is. You can still see that through it, which is good, isn't it? Yeah, it didn't look. So it went straight to the edge. It spreads. Yeah, try not to have it spread, but there it did. There it did. Yeah, yeah. So uh, bits of random paper. Yeah. Oh, that's. Yeah, did you see that? That's, <laughs> I don't feel like that. Right. Um. Get a uh, leafy one. So this has still got ink. I don't know. I don't know. Should we mix them? I don't know. Louisa did not mix them at all. I think she was quite adamant they shouldn't be mixed. But um, I think rules are made to be broken, aren't they? So I'm going to put, I want to put that um, peacock feather somewhere else because it looks like it's a bit uni too uniform there. I don't know where to put it here. Let's put them across there because it won't matter, will it? It won't matter. They won't look. Um, I'm just going to put this in the middle somewhere here, okay? And I'm going to leave that red on. Or whatever colour it must be, it can't be red. I haven't got red. Oh, I have it's the fire, fire brick uh, ink, and that's what I did. Let's put that on there, yeah. But first of all, we must remember to do this. See what I mean? It looks good, don't it? That looks great. Oh, I know I love leaves anyway, but that looks amazing. Yeah, loving leaves. Oh yes. Oh, I'm, that has actually completed the thing, am I? Oh. oh, oh, I absolutely adore it. Adore, 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 adore it. Adore, oh, 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 adore it. I don't know where to put some around the edges, you know, around here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow, yeah. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Let's put something. Um, I've got another leafy one as well, haven't I? Um, have I got any other green? This kind of pine needles. I've got some that somewhere. Right, let's have the forest moss and my other. Where's my other one? I got this because I saw Louisa. <laughs> this is years ago. I saw Louisa, well, months ago, I don't know, years ago. I saw Louisa got something like this, and I looked for something like that. I thought, I want one. <laughs> which is why I got this, which is one of my favourites, as you may know. Right, okay, so let's get, um, I don't know, I might leave that on. Naughtily. We're very naughty, aren't we? So if Louisa does see this, because I did say I was going to link it, uh, <laughs> it's going to be horrified. <laughs> Right. Um, I don't know. I don't know whether it's a good or bad thing. Right. Um, somewhere where it's not so clear. I think there. Cause that's not very clear. There is it. It's like very uh, vague. It might be because it's my own um, 
ones, but there we go. I wonder what she would do though, because I did mention it. I wonder what she'd probably make, create some amazing um, glue, goods, glue gun stencils. Let's do that. Let's just do that. So all I've done is patted it this time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's better. I like that better. Oh, I think that's got an amazing job. I should have done it in that colour, though. That would have been great. Oh, wow. Oh. I really like this, actually. So they're getting a lot better when you've gone over the top of some of them. Yeah, because that, that still looks a bit... Um, yeah, doesn't it? You need something a bit more clear in that space. I use this a lot, not this one. Oh, well, this is, I just use this one because I've used the middle of the shabby shut. Let's do that with the ink. Let's see if we can get a white effect because that looks a bit. So, what you do is just remember if you do this. Oops, I've got too much on there. I spread it around my fingers, and that's probably not supposed to. I don't know whether it does anything. But I spread it around my fingers. Um, don't forget, rules are meant to be broken, so. There. Oh no, no, do you know what? Not that rule. The rule about the, putting the water on is important. Did I put it on for the... I did, didn't I? Yeah, because I remember mopping it up. Right, so put that on there like that. Okay, then you get your stuff and then obviously you leave it because it's a, a liquid. Okay, so I'm just going to check the bad my drink. Can't remember having it. So I must have, must have forgotten it. Oops. It's been about three minutes. I'm just drinking some cold coffee. Yeah, so <laughs> it was cold. I left it. Yes. I remember seeing that on there. So I mustn't forget to drink that. Of course. Yeah. Let's see what that looks like. Then that might have lifted the colour a bit. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, you can't really see it, can you? Not like you can on the other ones I did. Yeah, it's not so... It has lifted it a bit, but I think it gives me the, it gives me the scope now to put down uh, another... Um, perhaps a completely different contrasting colour. Right, let's see if I can get a nice clear impression of this one. Put a little bit of water on. Um... It's probably going to make it worse, isn't it? That is so annoying. It tends to... It's because it's broken. Oh, I've folded it over now. Right, okay. Yeah, there's the things hanging off and everything on this. That should be over there. <laughs> yeah. This should be a quicker one because it's, um, yeah, that's rescued it a bit, hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, something with detail like that, that's good. I think I've got that big blue line. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I think the more I've put on this, the better on this, yeah. Right, let me get some, let's do this one. I'm going to do a bit of this on here. I'll need, um... Let's get that fiery red. I don't think it's going to be too much though, isn't it? Fiery brick red or something that says... Uh, right. <laughs> Quickly wipe it up. I don't think you can do that, can you? Look at me, this is what you should this is why you shouldn't do it on top. There we go, let's see if I can get that. Oh yeah, spray the water. Yeah, so experiments, experiments. Yeah, so we get that down there. Oh no, not doing that at all. We're doing some um I think we ought to stop in a minute because I'm getting Experimented out, aren't I? There we go. Now 
we might be able to do that thing with the um, what's the name? Right then, so I've left that for a while, okay, a few minutes. That's how it's done now. Yeah, it's better than the other time. There we go. Yeah, that's done it, hasn't it? So that's done it. So that's your um, little completed experiment from before Christmas sometime okay well the reason I did a video uh, 11 months ago <laughs> so perhaps if I'd seen it I would have known what to do wouldn't I and it would have looked completely different that video yeah when I did the um, glue gun stencils so that is absolutely amazing. I really like that sheet actually. It's really good, isn't it? So when that dries, that's going to look great, isn't it? Oh, right, well, I've sort of dried it now. Sort of not so much this end, more this end. But I think it looks more vivid when you've dried it, which it seems to. It's just a bit crease, that's all, yeah. <laughs> that's the only thing. Yeah, so um, I do hope you like my content today. It's been absolutely fun. Yeah, so what I forgot to tell you, what Louise originally did, and I probably mentioned it at the beginning, is uh, this is like an alternative to gel press. Okay. Um, so... I mean, I just completed my experiment. Okay, so if you've got things like stencils and you've got uh, inks and or, or oxides or pad, uh, probably any pad will do, you know, any ink pad will do. Okay, um, so whatever you've got, you can use it for that. And then look at that, amazing. That's amazing. And took the, the um, what's the other thing I did? The stitches on that. Yeah, so um do hope you like this today. Oh, please give me a thumbs up, that'd be absolutely amazing. And also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much and see you again soon. Thank you.